Hmm, let's see. We got a new update for 68D. Since two days ago. This is nice. Alright, let's look at the update log. Oh, I got that cool Leviathan remodel. I swear to goodness, I gotta get that done. We got that cool Nimitz remodel I've done. May or may not be a link to that. <laughs> Car Carrier rebalance part one. Oh, good lord. I'm gonna have to do a whole video on this later. Uh, let's just head on over to the Galaxy Dev. I'm sure we'll be able to find something interesting to do. Alright, let's get this uh, Leviathan Dreadnought remodel ship review done. Please visit the information desk if you. Enough of that. Let's get the Starbase spawned. I meant upgraded. Alright, we're at level 5. Let's get our old friend the Leviathan out. I already took some photos before the. Uh, Video began, so don't worry about that. Okay, so I'm not gonna go over the stats of the, the new remodel of the Leviathan, just the remodel. I'm gonna see if we can compare it to the other Leviathans out there. Man, that's gonna be a lot. Let's see, we got Leviathan remodel. We have Cyber Leviathan. We got Retro Leviathan. We have the flipping baby Leviathan ship. Am I missing one Leviathan here? Like, he's a Leviathan. Well, he's a Leviathan. He's a Leviathan. And you're a Leviathan. I'm a Leviathan. Is there anyone else in this room who's a Leviathan? I don't know. The ghost Leviathan from, uh... Subnautica shows up. That'd be funny. Heh <laughs> Alright, so here is the Leviathan remodel. It has six massive engines. With uh, some sort of nice little pattern to vent out the to vent out its power. Uh, one here, one there. You got two engines down to the left and right, and you have two more down there. Alright, there's an invisible docking bridge, invisible uh docking platforms. So you can walk over here to this nice little teleporter. Alright, so we got some nice stripes in the back. Cool, cool. So if we look over at the wings, you will notice that it's aerodynamic. A trade-off to the uh, older model, it looks more streamlined, uh, both this wing here and the other wing over there. Basically, the Leviathan remodel looks streamlined, aerodynamic. It looks less menacing and more faster. It looks less tough, but it's more faster by comparison. And I just and I just fell to the floor, didn't I? Well, here we go again. Well, that's probably the least scariest thing that happened to me on Galaxy. There's probably more problems to worry about. Yeah, let's head inside the interior. So if we go out through the bridge, yeah, we go out through here. We'll find this nice little bridge in this small little interior. It's a box, but it has a screen and a nice little gamer chair. Ah, oh, this looks like little heads-up displays. Cool. Ouch.
I'm not kidding. The Leviathan remodel looks aerodynamic and you got this cool little front gun. Looks like something you'll see from uh, Doom Eternal, but that's just my opinion. Ah, moving on, let's go target a starbase. <clears throat> oh, that's the uh, Alpha ship. Man, I gotta cover that carrier rebalance soon. Yeah, moving on, let's head over to uh, Freeman Base and see how much damage we can do to it. Alright, let's try and warp 77k studs ahead, or at least. Let's get to about here. Here we go. As you can tell, the Leviathan also has some nice trails. It looks better from down here than above. It's weird. It's like a rave party. Man, I didn't warp in close enough. Yeah, so I'm noticing now the Leviathan has some weak spots. Uh, blind spots, if you will, like driving a car. So yeah, you have a big area here you can shoot by the wings. You have this entire back end to shoot. So yeah. If you want to take down this Leviathan, if you want to take down the new remodel, you're going to have to do it from underneath or where the wings are. At least you won't be shot, shot up as much. Okay. Blasted, if you will. Jeez, I'm having a hard time speaking today. Okay, let's get in the firing position and uh, let's blow the starbase up. I think we should be within all turrets firing range. As you can tell, the only biggest concern I have is this turret down here not hitting. Alright, all turrets hit. Let's go. <laughs> Damage is looking pretty good. Whew, that was a big burst. I think what I like most about this remodel, just looking at it right now, what happened to be the, uh, well, the change in wing designs and the interior. It isn't like the retro Leviathan, but it feels a little like home. I saw some weird lights earlier. What was that all about? Hell yeah, like I said guys, uh, I'm only covering the remodel itself, not the stats. Look at the page if you want to cover the stats yourself. Alright, let's go. And the Starbase has been hauled. Let's see if uh, the Leviathan would have been a threat to it anyway. Yeah, just imagine you're sitting on the star, star base and then suddenly you see this massive ship coming at you. The first thought you have in mind is, I'm about to get obliterated. Or you're about to get stuck, you're about to get welded onto the ship. No, well, I don't think the Leviathan's that big. It's... The remodel is a nice streamline of the original, of the latest one. It's smaller, it's compact, but it's more aerodynamic for better performance, Consider, considering its top speed of 65. Top speed of 65, acceleration of about 5 studs per second, but a good, but a better turn speed if that's like 0 0.0, like 0 0.01 or something. I can't say stats right these days. <laughs> Oh, uh, check it out. We, uh, we managed to break the shield of the star base. Overall, the Leviathan remodel is a nice streamlined form of the last remodel. I think it would fit the ship's fast speed and above average maneuverability. Now, of course, it doesn't have much of an interior like the retro Leviathan. But at least it doesn't have an interior with an interior like the Cyber Leviathan. It's smaller, it's a smaller package, but it still comes with the necessary firepower to do decent damage. That's about as much as I can see. 8 out of 10. Take it or leave it, it's cool. Alright. See you guys later.